So today we're going to take a look at this conceptual drawing done by a student called Oliver Parkinson. You can find the detail on the official website of Unit 21 of Bartlett UCL. So what is this actually? My educated guess is that this is an astronometry of a 3D scan terrain and the valleys are his design. Go to Grasshopper and start a rectangular grid. Google any mesh height map in black and white and put it in the image sampler. We're going to move the points in the grid according to the black and white value which is mapped to 0 and 1. Use Delaunay triangulation to connect the points into the mesh. Boom! There I have it, a 3D terrain. Deconstruct the mesh so that we can map some color according to the gradient of each face. Adjust the gradient so that it looks better. We're going to shear the mesh by certain angle in both X and Y directions so that on plan we can see an exonometry. Use Graph Mapper to create some randomness. I'm using a purlin pattern. Actually, you can make an animation out of it. A fake 3D scan point cloud vertices terrain spiky. Press Ctrl P to print this and put it in Photoshop. Apply a filter gallery of cutout filter. Use magic wand to fill in some color palette. Of course you can use whatever color you want, I'm just copying his colors. Select the left and lower part to add some depth for the exonometry. Add a stroke layer style in Photoshop to create this white outline. Now this is looking much better, we just need some final touch up. Scatter some islands around and copy the spiky to texture the background, colorize it using the hue and saturation filter and tone down the opacity. Use the brush to paint some fake point clouds. Nobody's gonna tell whether or not they're real. Use lightest and darkest to create some contrast. Scatter some more islands around so that it looks better. Texture the background using different opacities. Bring it into Illustrator so that we can draw some dotted lines. Also draw some dotted rectangles. It makes it more analytical I guess. Also draw some color swaps, I believe those are for 3D scanning motion tracking. Unit 21 has been my favorite design unit. They don't confine themselves by only using parametric tools to create only organic shapes. Check out their website. Projects are really well documented. I'm gonna leave a link down below. Peace out.